Hello everybody, my name is Rugi and yesterday, yes, I mean yesterday, not today. Yesterday, I asked a question in Reddit about what is or what are the unspoken rules in art guys. So, first of all, I want to thank everyone for answering these kind of questions. I'll just go through the comments one by one. And before we go, go, through, the, go through the comments, make sure you subscribe to my video and enjoy the video. Here, I split the comments into four different types of comments. One is gameplay, one is base, one is about operators, and the last one will be other stuff. So let's go for the gameplay wise. First of all, don't use all sanity potion at once. Uh, I, I could note that I don't have to censor all, all the names because I really appreciate who commented on, on my question. So it's pretty true that you should have used all po sanity potion at once because at the end of the day, you will accidentally level out yourself and you had to reuse the sanity again but here's the catch unless it's 20 minutes away from expiry now the second one will be the most operators are reflexible for most content when it comes down to it waifu is over the meta actually i partially agree with this comment because first of all we have several types of operators which have the same traits let's say silver ash and thorns exu and ash unless it comes to some operators which are pretty unique let's say for for example robbie and froze no other operators are chart operators except for them and we have some actually additional operators like la ploma and tequila don't regard three and four star units since many are actually useful unlike most other gacha games so as you can see here we can refer to some content creators like kyo steve or echo Jin. Or if you search for Billy Billy, uh, no, his name is Zach C. They show us the walkthroughs, the stages with three or four star operators. At most, you get one OP six, six star operators like Silver Edge or Air Fala. So that's really it. That's why I say this comment is the best so far. Next, the one is uh, there's never really too much rock, too much rocks. And one seven will always be true. And was yes, talking about. Or in drunk farming. Don't touch your golden certificates as a new player unless you hit 180 and the shop operator is a good six star like Aya or COH. Yes, for new players, don't touch your golden certificate. Unless for my personal advice, you are really into gacha. Like for example, you are going for limited operators like W, Rose Montes, you are so desperate and feel free to use the golden certificates. Next one will be Try to put your non 200% trust operators in trust farm to build it up. Even if you go for effect, you will never use them. Or even if they all pass 100%. The question is why should we trust farming our operators to 200%? It's just because we can read their, read their op operators profile. But yeah, trust farming an operator until their, reach, their trust reaches 200% is pretty satisfying. You retreat your operator before they die when you can. Even Gravel. Now let's move on to the operator side. First of all, try to max out my support operators, which more of my friends list the days at least their skills. I don't expect max potential max level. Big thanks to people who have helpful supports. This is pretty useful, especially when you're in the middle of contingency contract. Yeah, I tend I tend to max out my Operators like COS, skill 3, macro skill 2, exercise skill 3, although nobody uses exercise on, on CC high risk. Well, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Next one will be don't leave operators on E2 level 1. It is easily cheap to level them up to level 20. The stat difference is quite big compared to what you spend. I found a similar, similar con man, which is uh, for this one. E2 operator must be level 30 once promotion to E2. Also, no max leveling. My level cap is 60, and so far, the on only a few of my operators get the right to be at this level. This is really true because after uh, level, level 60 E2, the resources required to level up to level 80 or 90 for 5 star and 6 star operators is pretty taxing. Unless there are several operators who can max out their damage potentials at their max level. For example, Silver Ash, E2, level 80, if uh, his true Silver Strike with his, his skill 3 backs up to M3. Or Sutra, E2, 
level 90 with her skill 3, M3. That's the useful part. Always have an operator level at a multiple of 5. F section. What's favorite number? Now, the third part is about base. So, first of all, put all guys in the same dormitory and never be your favorite waifu, Locks and Ansel. Hmm. If Ansel is for waifu, then put him alone. He looks like a girl, but he has. Hmm. So, he did be chased by girls and boys. <laughs> I found this comment pretty hilarious. Good job. Shout out to Nihachi Denitri. Nice. Don't upgrade the right hand side of your base without thinking of the consequence. I have no objections for this one unless it's when it comes to a training room and you need to max out uh, one of the operator skills as, as high as possible you need a training room level 3 and how about the consequence well I don't know because I just honestly I I upgrade everything without thinking of consequence so <laughs> I'll slam their face during they will listen to dormitory along with Sage, Sora and Embryo I'm thinking that they are referring to the their skill base. Only Nien should be allowed to develop elite materials in the base. So for your information, Nien has the highest efficiency to produce byproducts when you come to developing elite materials. But the moral is quite taxing as well. If you have prison team norm, don't put mountain there. Also, why one of places your operators can relax to like prison? This is so true. <laughs> Imagine we already deploy operators on the battlefield and then we allow them to rest and they only find out that they have to rest inside a prison or oh, hell no. Don't spread your original on furniture. Yes. You keep Kyobe and Balkan together in the base. Another yes. <laughs> Amnia is only allowed to leave the control room if Swire takes a place and vice versa. Assuming you have the latter. If you don't have Swire then only your only our condolences can be given unless you have the R6 squad in which case lock them and the rabbit with their new uh, eternal cage. Now speaking of R6 squad, I made a video of, about putting the R6 squad in the control room and it's 5 months from now and still they refuse to drop their morale. Yeah I mean CN server because English collaboration just ended like 2 weeks ago. Now, the last one is other stuff. Chaoscati. Chaoscati. Original primes should be only spent on buying skin because spending them on orange drum is inefficient. Unless you are well, you do you. This something sounds like to the F2 free to play players. And I'm pretty understand with that. Because overall, because after all, while you keep aiming a, for an operator with high rarity, or you are desperate to get some limited operators. Uh, spending them on owner is really inefficient actually. And I want to add one more thing about this. Spending Origin Prime on Sanity is just recent time. I can really say. So which means you can only spend Origin Prime on buying skin, not buying furniture, not for Orin Orin Drum. Uh, is situational. Here is a true unspoken rule. If you can use all three nerfs, they actually both relate together well as an unbreakable clock for one pathway. I don't get it because I I don't I didn't get blame shine. <laughs> you don't assume anyone has read read the main story. Second, you don't assume a new player has given any given four star unit. Third, you don't assume people pay play the same way you do and progress at the same pace. I could say these statements are true, true, and true. Because first of all, people tend to skip the stories just to jump into gameplay, sometimes referring to YouTube for walkthroughs and then copy paste. But they, they do them. They just want to get the original primes. Second thing is about every give a four star unit because uh some three star alternatives can do better, like Velblanta. And the third one is Everyone has their own pace on playing the game. Like when you're playing Genshin Impact and you are not really keen into exploring Inazuma. Uh, just, just an example. Just an example. Okay. The next one will be most characters in the game unfortunately won't have their lore and personality sufficiently. 
flesh out for a long time. Which is why I really appreciate such story like Kyodro Usus, Mario Nero, and Who is Real. Hypercrit kept releasing new operators, but they have a little time to develop the stories of the existing operators. Just like Nightmare, Aphiter, and even Platinum. <laughs> Never look up hentai about chain or exercise. I understand about exercise, but I don't need to understand about the chain because basically the same. Never speak in full confirmation about something lore related until it's been set in a stone on a wall of text. Do not listen or read any YouTubers or sites related to lore aside from Lawi from my experience. Those are very misleading. But it depends on what kind of laws you're going through actually. I like lores, but I don't read lores. I just read some text on like uh, Game Press or more wiki uh, in, in Mandarin. And basically, I have a little information about each operators and how they went through and eventually being recruited into Rose Island. So it depends on one's opinion, you know. Honestly, I didn't watch any videos about lores. Because sometimes you need to explore the lores through reading the operator's bio or revisiting the stories. So very little people have time to go, go through all the stories again and again. And the last one is do not expect anyone has the same taste as you. I strongly agree with this statement, not only because of art guys, but it's because of every fandom I am, like Rebel Six Siege, Genshin Impact, Alchemy Stars, respect everyone. And as I can see in our nice community, they have some respect, you know. Okay, so that's all for the video for today. If you have your own unspoken rules of in our nights, you can comment down below or you can continue to comment in Reddit posts until the post is re-archived. So that's the video for today. Thanks for watching.